Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Cano here with Cano Films with another tech review. I'm really, really excited about this one because if some of you do not know already, I do a podcast called The Chris Cano Show where I talk to many celebrities and really just about anyone I want to about certain topics that are maybe hot topics or, or just whatever. Like, uh, for example, I had Andy Dick, comedian Andy Dick on the show last time on the podcast and Lori Beth Denberg from Nickelodeon's All That, Figure It Out, all that fun stuff. And when it comes to podcasts, audio is everything. Now, right now, I am shooting this video using my camera's internal audio. So the audio is probably terrible, but the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna be testing out different microphones and compare it to this new Fifine, I think that's how you pronounce it, Fifine uh, microphone, uh, which is great for podcasting, and really a lot of stuff uh, we'll get into, but I wanna compare this microphone, this really awesome, I'm gonna say a microphone on a budget, actually, is because that's what I do. I uh, review a lot of things that are uh, not name brand, but com and I compare them to name brand items to see how they compare. So I'm gonna be doing a review comparison on the Zoom H1N and also the Zoom H4N, uh, which is what I use on my podcast currently, but I'm gonna be switching to the Fafine uh, after this review and I'll show you guys why. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with uh, reviewing the sound on this. So let's go ahead and hit record on the computer so you guys can hear this audio. All right, guys, I am now using the Fafine microphone. Um, I think the sound sounds really good. Um, when I'm doing a podcast, I'm usually like right up into the microphone, which is this bad boy right here that I use with H4N. And I honestly can already tell you this sounds way better than this uh, in the H4N. Um, especially when I'm saying my peas a lot, the peas just pop. Peter Piper picked a peppered pickle. There's no pops in this thing. If I'm doing that on this mic, you're gonna hear some pops here, I think, when I do the comparison. So now let's switch over, since we've heard this, to the H1N microphone made by Zoom, which is a big brand. All right, so now I'm wearing my H1N microphone. This I usually only use when I'm doing certain reviews. I don't use this for podcasts, so it's really not set up for that, but I did just wanna do a comparison uh, just with a ni another microphone that I do typically use when filming vlogs and, and things like that. Um, this microphone I expect to sound very good because it's an H1N Zoom mic. Uh, they're just a great brand and they're known for their audio. So, But I want you to hear the comparison because for the price, this thing is amazing. But since I use the H4N for my podcast, that's really where I want to do the comparison. So let's go ahead and jump to that and see how it compares to the Fafine. So right now I'm using the H4N, which again, it's a great recorder. Uh, this is what I usually do my podcast with, but you can already hear the peas popping, which is so annoying. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Now let's go listen to that on the Fafine again. Peter Piper picked a peppered pickle. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. All right, you guys can totally hear the difference. The peas are popping on this thing big time. And on the Fafine, or the Fafine, however you want to say it, um, those were not picking up at all, which is awesome. And I feel like you can even get super close to that microphone and say peas and it's not popping at all. So, um, and again, the huge difference, guys, is this microphone right here is $250 and this is $120. This bad boy right here, not only does it sound great, it looks awesome and so professional. It's only 79 bucks on Amazon. So you cannot beat that. I'm very happy with this microphone. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna switch back to it to wrap up this video review. So the microphone is on. I think it sounds fantastic. Once again, Peter Piper picked a peppered pickle. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn this volume up even more. It's actually about halfway right now, which is really good. But let's just see what happens when I keep turning it up. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Wow, it's getting really loud. Um, a little, little too sensitive, actually. I probably need to back off a lot um, so this would be great if I was like you know wanting to sit back a little bit further more relaxed during a podcast interview or whatnot um, this is gonna come in really handy when this COVID mess is over when I can actually have people back in the studio and do a live podcast not just a virtual podcast but this thing is phenomenal I'm actually gonna turn the volume back down just a little bit now another thing I love about this microphone is it's directional so if I turn it around listen to this 
Now, as you guys can hear, you can't hear me as well because it has a cardioid pickup pattern in it, which means it's directional. So that means if it's facing me, it's not picking up the noise behind it. And that's very important when you're doing a podcast. So a lot of you guys are wondering, how are you recording the audio? I'm using Audacity, which is free to record the audio right now, which is awesome because when I'm done, I can just line it up and post like that. But anyway, guys, this is the Fafine, Fafine, however you want to pronounce it, microphone. Um, you can get this on Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the description as always. Uh, 79 bucks. You can't beat it. Also, guys, I have to mention the packaging on this thing is awesome. Uh, it came in this great box here. Everything was padded in this foam, so it arrived safely. There was no dents, nothing like that, because it is metal. And um, it's just a really awesome design. And, and again, very solid product. So I will definitely be using this microphone in my future podcasts uh, on the Chris Canote Show. But guys, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope it helped you out. If you guys are looking to get into the podcast scene um, and you're just wanting to start out and not spend $300 or $120 on a Zoom mic, and maybe you just want to start with the $80 budget mic, but it sounds great. I highly recommend the Fafine or Fafine. I don't know. I always feel bad like not knowing how to pronounce these names, but it doesn't matter. Funny name, awesome microphone. Guys, I'm Chris Canote with Canote Films. This was another tech review. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.